Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here's information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. You are given the following, 12 urns containing 10 marbles, and of the urns contain 3 red marbles and 7 black marbles. The remaining 12 minus N urns contain 6 red marbles and 4 black marbles. An urn is randomly selected and one marble is randomly drawn from it. The selected marble is red, the marble is replaced, and the marble is again randomly drawn from the same urn. The Bayesian analysis estimate of the probability that the second selected marble is red is 0.54. Determine N. Let E be the event that the urn chosen contains three red marbles and seven black marbles. Then E complement is the event that the urn chosen contains six red marbles and four black marbles. Let R1 be the event of drawing a red marble in the first the first time, and R2 be the event of drawing a red marble the second time. We are given that probability of R2 given R1 is 0.54. So 0.54 is probably R of R2 given R1, and that's uh, uh, 3 tenths times probability of E given R1 plus 6 tenths times a probability of E complement given R1. Um, because 3 tenths and 6 tenths are corresponding probabilities of R2 for E uh, and E complement. Okay, so that's 3 tenths times probability of E given R1 plus 6 tenths times 1 minus probability of E given R1. And that's 6 tenths minus 3 tenths times probability of E given R1. And from this we get probability of E given R1 to be 0.2. Using the Bayes theorem, we see that uh, 0.2, which is known to be probability of E given R1, is probability of R1 given E times probability of E, divided by probability of R1 given E times probability of E, plus probability of R1 given E complement times probability of E complement. And that's equal to 3 tenths times probability of E, over 3 tenths times probability of E, plus 6 tenths times 1 minus probability of E. As you can see, this is now an equation in which the only unknown is probability of E, so we can calculate it. So we calculate the probability of E to be one-third. But this probability must actually equal to N over 12. That's the setup in the problem. And therefore, N is 4, which is answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem comes from a Casualty Actual Society exam and belongs to the Casual Textual Society. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.